Hi guys, so welcome. My name is Moo, and today we're going to paint the game. Oh, that was the wrong one. Uh, before I'm gonna switch to blue, your eyes. So before your eyes is actually a game. Uh, you you basically don't control the game that much, except for you are actually using your own eyes. It's supposed to be an eye. Uh, to control the game so when you are blinking you are doing some interactions in the game and when you're holding your when you're actually just like staring then you you kind of don't do that um there we go that's that's a beautiful eye isn't it uh so basically that's what you do uh that's the way to control you will see you will have like partial portions of like view inside you can see what's happening here and the rest of it is just basically completely black um and then you will find these eyes on certain parts of the game and then you basically aim at it and then you blink and then you will kind of reveal even more and so that's the way that you play this game you're basically just using your eyes to blink um unfortunately i had a very dry apartment so i had a hard time keeping my eyes open at some points because there are certain uh interactions where you do need to keep your eyes open which was very very difficult for me However, I do really like the concept of it uh, because it forces you to... Like, it is such a new way of, of controlling games, you know? Um, the only problem that I had also, like, being someone who records these uh, playthroughs and such is that I actually have a hard time or I couldn't have my webcam on at the same time as I'm recording with the webcam. So I had... A str <clears throat> I struggled a little bit with ensuring that I... Um, with, with actually getting my capture on my video, which... But that's, that's just, you know, not anything <laughs> that most people will have to worry about. But it was a, it was a fun game. It was very story, uh, story heavy. And it was kind of focusing a lot about the story and how to move forward in it. Um, and there was some, some twists and turns in the story, which was kind of cool. Uh, basically, you, you are someone who you are being picked up by a boat. And on the boat, there's like some guy here. And he's asking you to tell your life story and then you start to telling the life story and, and you get to see what happens basically to, to the main character. Um, yeah, I did recommend this game because I felt like it was very... I felt like it was very unique. It was very cool. Uh, I did struggle, but that was my own problem for struggling. So I think game-wise, I think it's actually worth recommending because... So if you just have better prerequisites than I had, then you will be able to actually play this game fairly good and you will be able to, to enjoy the story a little bit better than I did and actually listen to all of the conversations that are, are ongoing that I missed because, well, I, it just didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work for me. Uh, yeah, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it, then well, you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again.